Jenna and James, what a beautiful and amazing occasion this is. And many life events have led to this moment. Your journey began six years ago when you both decided to further your education, move to a new state of Arizona, and begin physical therapy school. We thank you for Jenna and James. Thank you that you have brought them together for this special day and that you hold them safely in your hands. We pray that you richly bless them as they exchange their vows and their wedding rings. And from this day forward, that they would walk hand in hand in everything that you have destined them to be. I think the best part of your story is you guys began as just friends, rooting within you a deep sense of companionship and a lot of fun as well. Things began to change during what seemed to be a typical friend trip to Thailand in 2018. You both entered looking to get away and have a little bit of fun, but the only problem with that was someone had a different agenda. And in the following days, I planted seeds in both of your heads with seemingly unremarkable compliments. Things like, hey James, Jenna's pretty cool, huh? And Jenna, just think how tall and athletic your children will be. It was on the beach of one of our last days of the trip, Jenna pulled me aside and said she was falling for James. My plan had worked better than I could have ever hoped. Your story officially had taken the next step from friendship and blossomed into a relationship. Nothing would be the same. Who gives this woman to be married to this man? Jenna, let me first by saying happy four year anniversary. Our journey to today has meant the world to me. We started out as good friends first which eventually blossomed to the amazing relationship that we have today. I first knew I liked you during our first rotation in PT school when I was living in Tucson and you're back home in Colorado Springs. I stand here before you looking at the rest of my life. You are my best friend and the only person I want to see at the end of a long day and the love of my life. I love that you are constantly pushing me outside my comfort zones. I love your unconditional love for everybody that you encounter in your daily life. I love how much everyone loves you within seconds of meeting you. I love your strength, your heart, and your mind and I love how you made me a better man. Today, in front of our friends and family, I vow to love you unconditionally during the good times and during the bad. I vow to always strive to be your strength and your constant in our unpredictable and changing lives. I vow to continually date you. I vow to be the best husband and father to our future kids that is humanly possible. I vow to love you for the rest of my life and never take any days with you for granted. I love you, and I can't wait to spend the rest of my life with you. James. You're the best friend that I've ever had. I love that above all else, we've built a relationship that's based on trust, communication, friendship, and laughter. I'm constantly learning with you and from you. You're my partner, my teammate, through every adventure, good or bad. You'll always be my biggest ally. I'm constantly enamored by the love that you show me and the world around us. You're selfless, kind, and you always put others first. There's so much that I love and appreciate about you, and I'm so thankful that we found each other. James. I vow to you this. I promise to always have your back, that I'll choose you every day because you make it so easy to choose you and to love you. I've never had someone build me up the way that you do. You helped me learn to love myself in these last four years. You've taught me to celebrate my strengths and embrace my flaws. You're my hype man for life, and I vow to build your confidence the way that you build mine. I vow to keep communication our strength. Even when times are hard, I will listen to your needs and your wants. I love that every hard conversation we've ever had and will have comes from a place of respect and trust. I vow to be loyal, honest, and caring to work hard at this marriage and celebrate our love in every chapter that is to come. I vow to be the best wife that I can to the most deserving man in the world. There's no heart like yours and I promise to protect it with everything I have. It's such a privilege to become your wife. I've prayed for you my entire life and I don't know how I could possibly deserve a man of your caliber. You are and will forever be my greatest love and my greatest friend. Place this ring on her finger and repeat after me. This ring I give you. In token and in pledge. My constant faith and abiding love. It is a symbol of my promise. To fulfill all my vows to you. I promise to love and cherish you. I will respect, trust, help, and care for you. I will share my life with you. In plenty and in want. In joy and in sorrow. In sickness and in health. To have and to hold. From this day forward. Do you, do you Jenna, Jenna, accept this, this ring as a reminder of the testimony of James' vows to you? I do. 
Inasmuch you have pledged your love and faith in the giving and receiving of rings, as a minister of the gospel of Christ and by the power vested in me by the great state of Arizona, I hereby, announce, I hereby pronounce you husband and wife. James, you may kiss your bride. Yep. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I introduce to you Mr. and Mrs. James and Jenna Poupontong. 